Hello, this is Mrs. Smith, and I am one of the math specialists in our building. And on behalf of myself and Mrs. Starkey, who is the other math specialist, I am going to be going over adding mixed numbers with you. To do this lesson, you need a piece of paper and a pencil. So get those things ready. If you need to pause the video, you can, and then unpause it when you're ready to begin. What do frogs say when they meet each other? Solve the addition problems below. Write your answer in simplest terms. Match each answer to a letter in the key. Then write the letter in the space above its problem number to find the answer to the riddle. At the top of your paper right now, I would like you to copy this down, this what I am boxing in. You can pause the video and then when you are done, unpause the video so we can begin problem solving. Pause the video, copy down problem one, solve, unpause the video to see the answer. I take a look at the larger denominator, it is a four. Four is a multiple of two, so I can use it as my common denominator. Two times two equals four. One times two equals two. 4 times 1 equals 4. 1 times 1 equals 1. We keep the denominator 4. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Now I'm going to add my whole numbers. 2 plus 4 equals 6. I check to see if I can reduce my fraction. I cannot. The answer is six and three fourths. Six and three fourths matches with the letter U. So where I see number one down below, I am going to write the letter U. Pause the video, copy problem number two, solve, Unpause the video when you're ready to see the answer. My larger denominator is 10. 10 is a multiple of 5, so I can use it as my common denominator. 5 times 2 equals 10. 1 times 2 equals 2. 10 times 1 equals 10. 3 times 1 equals 3. I'm going to keep the denominator 10. 2 plus 3 equals 5. I can reduce by dividing the top and bottom number by 5. This gives me 1 half. Now I add the whole numbers. 4 plus 3 equals 7. The answer is 7 and 1 half. Seven and one half matches with the letter T. Where I see problem two, I'm going to write the letter T. Pause the video, copy problem number three, solve, unpause the video when you're ready to go over the answer. Six is the larger denominator, and it is a multiple of three, so I can use it as my common denominator. Three times two equals six. Two times two equals four. Six times one equals six. One times one equals one. The common denominator is six. Four plus one is five. I add the whole numbers. 6 plus 5 equals 10. Sorry, 6 plus 5 equals 11. I cannot reduce this problem. The answer is 11 and 5 6. This matches with the letter H. 
So where I see problem number three, I'm going to write the letter H. Pause the video, copy problem number four down, solve, unpause the video to see the answer. H is the larger denominator, so I can use it as my common denominator. 8 times 1 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to keep 8 as my denominator, 6 plus 1 is 7. Now I add the whole numbers, 3 plus 1 is 4. I cannot reduce the fraction, the answer is 4 and 7 eighths. 4 and 7 eighths matches with the letter W. So where I see a 4, I'm going to write the letter W. Pause the video, copy down problem number 5, solve, unpause when you're ready for the answer. 12 is the larger denominator. It does not, it is not a multiple of 9, so I'm going to double it. 24 is not a multiple of 9, so I need to do 12 times 3, which is 36. 36 is a multiple of 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 2 times 4 is 8. 12 times 3 is 36, 5 times 3 is 15. I'm going to keep 36 as my denominator. 8 plus 15 equals 23. Now I'm going to add 7 plus 4 and I get 11. 11, 20, 11 and 23, 36 is my answer. This goes with the letter O. So for problem number five, I'm going to write the letter O. Pause the video, copy problem one down, so solve. I meant problem six, copy problem six down, solve. Unpause the video when you're ready to go over the answer. 15 is the larger denominator. It is a multiple of 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9. 15 times 1 is 15. 7 times 1 is 7. We keep 15 as our denominator. 9 plus 7 is 16. This is an improper fraction. 15 is able to go into 16 one time with one left over. 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. The answer to question 6 is 11 and 1 15th. This matches with the letter W. So where I see the 6, I'm going to put a W. Pause the video, copy down problem seven, solve, unpause the video when you are ready to go over the answers. 21 is the larger denominator. It is a multiple of seven, so I can use it as my common denominator. Seven times three is 21. Three times three is nine. 21 times one is 21. 6 times 1 is 6. I keep the denominator 21. 9 plus 6 equals 15. I can reduce this fraction by dividing the top and bottom by 3. 15 divided by 3 and 21 divided by 3 gives me 5 sevenths. 3 plus 4 equals 7. The answer 
7 and 5 sevenths matches with the letter Y. We add that to our an answer for our riddle. Question number 8. Pause the video, copy the question down, solve, unpause the video to see the answer. 30 is our bigger denominator. It is a multiple of 6, so I can use it as my common denominator. 6 times 5 is 30. 2 times 5 is 10. 30 times 1 is 30. 4 times 1 is 4. I can bring down the 30. 10 plus 4 equals 14. I can reduce this by dividing the numerator and denominator by 2, and I get 7 fifteenths. 5 plus 1 equals 6. The answer is 6 and 7 fifteenths. This matches with the letter N. Question number Pause the video. Copy the question down, solve, unpause the video when you're ready. 8 is the larger denominator. It is a multiple of 2, so I can use it as my common denominator. 2 times 4 is 8. 1 times 4 is 4. 8 times 1 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. 8 is my common denominator. 4 plus 1 is 5. 10 plus 6 equals 16. The answer is 16 and 5 eighths. This matches with the letter I. So where I see the 9 in my riddle answer, I'm going to write an I. Question number 10. Pause the video, copy the question down, solve, unpause the video to see the answer. 9 is the larger denominator. It is not a multiple of 6, so I'm going to double it. 18. 18 is a multiple of 6, so I can use it as my common denominator. 6 times 3 is 18. 5 times 3 is 15. 9 times 2 is 18. 1 times 2 is 2. We bring down the 18. 15 plus 2 equals 17. 9 plus 3 equals 12. The answer is 12 and 7 eighteenths. This goes with the letter E. Where you see the 10 in the answer riddle, you write E. What do frogs say when they meet each other? Warts new with you. Thank you for practicing adding mixed numbers with me today. Enjoy the rest of your day.